still in chapter four, we're going to look at how to use conditional if blocks with the instructions if, then, and end if. Conditional if blocks are used to define a result in the format if my condition, then, and then finally we end with end if. So here the program says if my condition is true, then result equals 10, and then we end with end if here. Let's do an example where we define my condition. For example, we could say that my condition is that variable 1 is greater than 50, where variable 1 is the RSI of 14 periods that we have defined here. And we can use and to define a second condition if variable 1 is greater than 50 and variable 2 is true and variable 3 is true. If we write the instructions just like this, it means if variable 2 and variable 3 are both true. Then result equals 10 and end if. So here, if all of my conditions are true, then the new variable result will be set to equal 10. Let's return result on the chart with return result. What this means is that sometime during the displayed history here, the variable RSI 14 was greater than 50, and close was greater than open, and variable 3 was true. What we can do now is change the value of variable 3 from 1 being true to 0 meaning false. So now, since variable 3 is included in this conditional if chain, and it's always false, this condition will never be verified, and so the result will not be set to 10. And if we click Add Indicator to Chart to update this, we will see that that's true. In addition to using variables in conditional if chains like this, we could also directly use values. For example, close is greater than open. We could just replace variable 2 with that and remove variable 2 right here. Click Add Indicator to Chart, and our program still works in the same way. Conditional if blocks like this can be used in all sorts of pro real time programs including pro builder programs for indicators, pro backtest programs for trading strategies, and pro screener programs for market scans.